keep on going. I think I started painting around maybe when I was three or four years old. It was not that serious, but uh, the thing which started on a slate eventually came out to be something on a canvas later on. I was never serious about it till I was 15. But yeah, that's when it took a turn and painting became much more serious for me. I did one of similar paintings like this, which I did before. I started painting in blood. It's a simple but the ideology of the technique that I used to use is coming clear. I used to paint in oil, I used to scratch out the paint to form some shapes and stuff. Then I just used to paint all over them again, 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 till it came up to be something like this. Painting with blood started, I think, two or three years down the line. The whole phase started from 2014 when I gave myself a name called Ryan Omega, which was an entity of mine. When I think about it now, I always had this image in me as a kid that uh, Whatever I do from my left hand is supposed to be bad, whatever I do from my right hand is supposed to be right. I do 90% of my things with my left hand, 10% things with my right. I used to harm myself, self-mutilate at some point and it used to give me satisfaction so I thought why not do something. There was this one night when I was just painting in one of my studios where I used to practice art and it was around 9 o'clock. I was just painting all by myself and somehow I felt like I, I felt too much aggression so I slit myself with the blade that we used to, you know, like uh, sharpen our pencils with. When the blood started flowing, I just dipped my paintbrush in that and I started painting with that. That was my first ever blood art. And that's, after, that's the point when I started seeing things like, okay, this is the most extreme way and the most true way in which I can put my ideology out. Involving your own body part, contributing into a canvas as if it's your own child is a different thing. So that's what I thought of. And that's how the whole thing came out with the blood art painting. Now I have at least like five paintings that I've done with blood out of which two of them are canvases. It's all coping mechanism at the end of the day. Like if you feel angry, you will punch your fists into the wall or something like that. It'll f make you feel happy or calm you down a bit. But for me, it was a different thing. I thought that, you know, I've had a couple of situations in which people have tried to harm me regardless of what I did to them. And uh, in those situations, what happened was I came, I ended up thinking that, you know, what if the, why does the world want to hurt me? and uh, I just ended up thinking that, you know, I should hurt myself first before they do. I started self-harming myself in anxiety and depression at that time. And uh, I was clinically di diagnosed with all these things and uh, it all just came out and I, it used to help me out a bit. Lots of people recommended going to another psychiatrist and all that. I just, you know, ditched that fact. Maybe I'm a little bit less, <laughs> less educated on that part. But yeah, it didn't help me out. What helped me out was just slitting myself and painting with blood was a medium which was giving me something productive out of what I enjoyed doing at that point of time. Painting and music has always been something which has always gone together for me. Painting is something which I feel like helped me out when I was not financially stable doing music. So painting has always helped me out. And also apart from that, it has also been a spiritual journey. I mean, a lot of people say it like that, but I mean, for me, it has been a gateway to a lot of things which I didn't expect existed. In earlier stages, I just did it for enjoyment. Now I do it for finding something and, you know, looking up for something more than just enjoying doing it. There's always a search for more extreme ventures when you go on to a path which is unknown. And I am still working on a couple of ideas which are going to put me out, put me out in a different field from now. I mean, there are people who do blood art in the world, but in India, I haven't come across anyone apart from me. In India, it might be a new thing, but my competition is not here. I don't even have a competition with anyone. The only competition I have is with myself to know what lies ahead if I put this much effort into it. I mean, it's all about the effort, how much you put into something and then you see the result. I am going to continue painting in blood. There might be a painting which might be my last one as well, looking at how extreme I'm going with it. I mean, this kind of art form doesn't really require any acceptance from anyone but from yourself. Are you ready to sacrifice something if you need it? I mean, it's all about living it to the extreme. If I really give a shit about what my family thinks or what anyone around me thinks, I would never be cutting myself because at the end of the day, this, these cars are being the you know parameters on which the society judges you for. I am kind of ready for it because this is who I am. This is like, I 
proudly wear them like tattoos and i am going to wear them proudly till the time i live